Hello. In just a moment, I'm going to take you on a video tour of two beds in my garden where I've used two different types of crop protection. And I'm protecting them against what are generally called garden pests. For instance, like our friend the wood pigeon here or the squirrel. But they're only really pests because they cause problems. Like, for instance, the neighbour's cats, which dig up and foul my vegetable beds. Or a butterfly, the cabbage white butterfly, which lays eggs and the caterpillars eat the leaves. A similar visitor is the carrot root fly. So in order for me to actually have a harvest and be able to feed myself, I need to protect my plants against these garden visitors. And I do that just by putting in some barriers which are not going to harm the animals or the insects that are visiting my garden, but they're just going to create a barrier to protect my crops. So I'm here in the garden on a wet, windy day, as usual, and I'm just taking a little look here at something I've just constructed, which is a bit of pest protection for this square foot gardening raised bed. You can see behind there I've got uh, an old gazebo that I've turned into bean poles. Then I've got some pea netting that I made again out of the old gazebo and uh, used uh, some string. And then I've got an old iron gate. Okay, so now we're on my unsteady cam. <laughs> Here's the raised beds here. So what you'll see is on this end, I've sort of just stapled it to the actual board there. And I've stapled it to the fence. Because as such, it's not putting any strain on the fence or anything. So that's absolutely fine to do. And I've done that all the way up. Then what I've done is I've used some plant ties just to tie on in a few places. And the reason I've used plant ties rather than cable ties is that if I've got it just a bit wrong, I can untie it and just put it in a better position. And I've threaded it down a bamboo cane there, which is behind, which is a fiddly old job, but it worked. And then I've stapled it at either end you might be able to see the see through there maybe I don't know but then I've just brought it round use another cane in like a sort of half a frame and I haven't wrapped it through that or anything it's just loose but that's just to brace it and then the bottom's gone in to the bottom of the bed here and I've tied it on just with another one of these plant ties and you can see I've done the two other half poles and that's just to bring it away from the plants themselves now how do I get access to this bed well I could have left this all loose here this bit of netting the problem with that is that it would have blown up and things could have got in there so I have threaded some bits of bamboo cane in between where these supports are here and then I've done the same here and there and then all I've done in this little bit here is I have just put a plant tie and pushed it down onto a sort of tensioned little bit of bamboo cane up against the side there so now when I lift it I can sort of get oh, underneath the netting and get to everything and then I can when it comes to put it back just put it back again like that just be careful not to crush my plants too much just the edge I could have put screws in and just use plant ties or cable ties just to clip it in but I thought this is the best solution to keep it flexible because if I find it's too tight or too loose I can adjust it nice and easily and that's my protected bed. And this is another way I'm protecting my plants from the pigeons, the squirrels, and uh, the cats. 
but also uh, from insects that like to go for some of my veg like the uh, cabbage white butterfly things like that so this is an insect proof mesh and what's really important when you use this is that you're you're really clamping down anywhere they can get through so you can see I've stapled all along there nice tight fit I've just used this rope here which is just some old rope I've had for decades quite literally um, it's not the prettiest stuff but it's strong enough to support in the wind but got a bit of give and I've just used some bamboo canes here and then what I've done is just use some long felting uh, felt tacks the type you would use on a shed and I've just pressed them down into the top of these bamboo canes that handily because it's bamboo has a hole in the middle and uh, that's just sort of there I've sloped it so that if there's a, a big downpour of water it's gonna sort of run although water will get through here um, obviously I need to access it so uh, although I've stapled at these ends along the runs there it's not attached at all and what I've done is just use some chestnut uh, split logs there just to um, pinch it in place so that nothing can get up that side on this side this is a bit more temporary at the moment because I'm I'm wanting to check that I've got the heights right for me to access this but the idea is there's just some boards weighing it down the middle I've stapled some, some bits of timber as well to soot in a few places just to weigh it down a bit and also help me make a seal but the idea is is that I move these boards here and just pull this mesh up and I can get in and do whatever I need to do and then I can put the mesh back there put the boards back and that's really how it works and we might be able to prove that it works there you go try and hold my camera steady it's a little aphid or something there that can't get through so it just proves it works the only downside to insect proof mesh is that you don't get the beneficial insects in there that help control pests and help uh, pollinate etc but you it's just uh, a case that you're using this stuff in the situation that's most suitable and that's why I haven't used it over on this bed however what I am going to do is create some some small boxes if I sow something like carrots in here like baby carrots or something I'll create a small box with some mesh on uh, just to help prevent against carrot root fly. Just like my plants, I'd like to grow my channel, so please do give me a like and a subscribe.